Before starting the demo, I'd like to explain what you'll be seeing today. OpenText has created a collection of behind-the-scenes interfaces that we refer to as Extended ECM. These interfaces enable users to work in the leading application of their choice and interact with the content stored in OpenText Content Server seamlessly from within the application. In this demo, the leading applications will be first the Office 365 suite, followed by Salesforce, and then finally SAP. The interesting part of this demo is that we won't actually be showing you the flagship software Content Server 16 until the very end as the users themselves would be unaware they are accessing an enterprise content management system as they perform their tasks. From their perspective, they are simply accessing the systems required to complete their piece of an overall business process. In this scenario, I'll be playing the role of Nick, the sales director. Now, Nick has received an email from, well, actually from me, and in this email, it's instructing him that a fictitious company, Global Trade, has approved a purchase, and but needs everything shipped by Friday and to please expedite. So this email is going to be treated as a record and needs to be stored, and that's what we're going to do first. So what we're going to do is click on this button here from within Outlook, and it's going to suggest, based on the customer Global Trade in the subject line, it's going to suggest a workspace for me to store this email in. So I'm going to put it in the order initiation folder and click save. It says this is where it's going to be saved to. Hit OK. And it's been saved successfully. Now that the email has been stored from Outlook, I'm going to switch over and go into SharePoint. And in this space, I'm going to be able to see the customer data for the customer Global Trade AG, as well as the account team and who is performing what role. And again, I'm playing the role of Nick Wheeler, the sales director. So what I'm going to do is click on the Documents tab, and it's going to pull up the Global Trade AG workspace. Click on Order Initiation. And there's that email that I just put in from Outlook. Now what I'm going to do now is take a, shrink my screen a little bit, and there's some equipment information that I've saved on my desktop, and I'm going to drag that in directly into SharePoint. It's now updated. So from here, I can add comments to this file that I've just uploaded. These comments will be available to anyone that has access to the system. So the next thing I'm going to do is add some content that I've been collaborating on from the Microsoft Teams interface. So from here, I'm going to take and add this document here that I've been collaborating on into the workspace. So I'll go into the open text files, go into the order initiation, and now I'm going to add an Office 365 document. There's that order that I've added. I'm going to save this, which uploads it. At this point, I can still make changes. And that will be uploaded to the system and saved. I'll refresh the screen. And there's that global trade order that I've just updated. I'm going to add a comment here, just to highlight that it needs to be done by Friday. Now that I've added the files from the Outlook and SharePoint and Teams locations uh, through the Office 365 suite, the next step is to go into the Salesforce user interface. So from here, I'm looking at the Global Trade AG account and uh, some of the important details. And I'll go over to the Connected Workspace, the Order Initiation folder. And here I can see all of those documents as well as the comments that had been added in previously. And I can reply back through this same interface. Now that we've added the content from Office 365 as well as from Salesforce, we can move on to the SAP components. Now here on this screen in the customer browser, we've located Global Trade AG, and we can see some of the information that's stored as master data within SAP, such as its location and which country it resides in. 
We also have access to this workspace, which again is that same workspace that we've been seeing all along and that all of the content that we've added along the way. We can also access the comments and other pieces of information that have been uh, added along the way. As mentioned before, we wouldn't be showing the OpenText Content Server 16 interface until the very end, and here we are. As you've seen some of these pieces before surfaced up in SharePoint, for example, the account team on the left and the customer data on the right, these components pulled together in the Content Server interface can be exposed in various pieces throughout other leading applications. The Documents tab allows us to get to that order initiation folder and all of those different pieces that have been added along the way. We have map integrations as well because we have the address for this customer. We have the Office 365 components like notebooks under OneNote, Microsoft Team environments, as well as group calendars and group conversation. We also have related workspaces that can pull information about deliveries, sales orders, support cases, from a variety of systems such as SAP or Salesforce. Pulling all of this information together and putting it at the fingertips of the users makes things much easier for them to get their jobs done and improves efficiencies all around. I hope this has been helpful and we look forward to talking to you soon.